Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're doing well. Today I wanna to go over four tax saving strategies for business owners. My name is Adin Kuskovic, and uh, as we're getting to the end of the year, it's a very timely topic to talk about what we can do today to pay less come springtime. So with that said, strategy number one. Uh, this one is a little strange. You might scratch your head about it and you might think that I'm crazy. But one tool you can use is the concept of pushing income into the next year. So instead of going out and billing all your clients in December, you could wait until the end of December or maybe even January to bill your clients. That way that income that you normally would receive in December you're pushing off to next year, and that way you have a whole nother year to pay taxes on that income. Uh, again, it sounds a little strange because usually we wanna get as much income as we can. Uh, in this way, we're just deferring a little bit. Um, if you have credit card processors, you might be able to have them, instead of giving you their deposits at the end of December, the last maybe week or two to three days, depending on your business, you might be able to say, hey, why don't you hold off on depositing that in my bank account and deposit it on the first of next year. Uh, real estate agents, similar deal. If there's uh, commissions from sales that you're supposed to get paid in that last week in December, if you can float another week and uh, you can get your broker in charge to agree, uh, see if you can have those commissions paid out to you the following year. In January, it's really just a week later. And again, that way you're just pushing income to the next year and buying yourself a whole year uh, to pay taxes on it. I uh, said so that one again, unorthodox, but it can make sense. Uh, strategy number two is the opposite of that. Uh, if you have the money available, cash flow is good, you can go out and buy normal supplies. Uh, and then you can also do something else, which is prepaying normal recurring expenses. So think about your rent. Uh, your landlord's gonna be happy if you prepay. You're also gonna get that deduction for this year. Uh, and that can be a significant chunk of money. And again, it depends on your situation, if your cash flow allows for it or not. Uh, and you don't have to prepay all of next year. You could also just prepay the next two months, three months, four months. Uh, and kind of right size how much of a deduction you want to get. Uh, then other things like uh, your business insurance. You could be prepaying that. So instead of doing like a monthly plan, you could just knock out the whole year. Uh, you could prepay, uh, if you lease a car, you could prepay the lease. Same kind of deal. You're just bringing all those expenses from next year to this year. Uh, you have more expenses, less profits, less tax. Uh, you can, if you pay your professional advisors on some sort of retainer, uh, most of my clients pay me in that way where there's a monthly recurring bill. Uh, if you want to send me a check for, for a certain amount of months for next year, by all means, I'll take it. Uh, that way you get a deduction and you're, you're not gonna have to pay me for a few months. Um, so that's another strategy. Number three, I've talked about this uh, before a number of times uh, in terms of if you don't want to buy stuff uh, just for the sake of buying stuff, uh, things like retirement accounts and given how far along we are in the year, uh, really uh, IRAs, individual retirement accounts and uh, SEP IRAs, which are actually a pension plan if you're self-employed or you don't have any employees, uh, SEPs could be a very viable option. Again, it depends on your circumstances. Uh, again, and how much money you're trying to, one, save for retirement, and two, uh, in terms of tax savings, what sort of figure we're looking for. Uh, so if you have questions about that, it's, uh, it's critical that we talk about it, crunch some numbers, make sure it makes sense. Um, that's actually one option also that we have until April 15th to make a decision on it, uh, depending on how you're organized. If you are an S-Corp uh, or a partnership or a C-Corp, 
Uh, we probably want to get that done even sooner. Again, depends on which choice of retirement account we go with. Uh, so again, timing and proactively planning and doing things uh, is going to be the key here. All right, and now uh, to tip number four, which is a very complicated subject because there's going to be a lot of moving parts, and that is the purchase of a vehicle. Um, shopping for cars to me is a ton of fun. I love doing it. Uh, you always got to look at as a business owner, are there tax benefits? And then uh, a very common question I always get is, should I lease my business vehicle or should I buy the vehicle? And again, there's a number of uh, factors that influence which decision is right for you. Uh, I don't wanna get into them here. I actually plan on doing a whole video just on vehicles for, uh, for businesses and business owners because it's a very big topic. Uh, the new tax law makes deducting and writing off vehicles a lot easier uh, than years past. So that's, again, a welcome change and creates a lot of opportunity for planning as long as we're proactive and as long as we know how it plays out, not just this year, but the next year and the year after. And also down the road, if you plan on selling the vehicle, and then there's also some cool ways where we can combine um, different strategies within vehicles. Uh, again, it depends on your circumstances, how you're organized, do you have employees, what's your business. Uh, so you, you get the idea that you know it's not as simple as, hey, do I lease or do I buy, and goodbye. Uh, there's some analysis that needs to go into it and um, some number crunching to make sure that you're making the best decision for you and your business. Uh, so again, to recap, uh, four strategies to use before 1231. Uh, you wanna push out income into next year. Uh, that way you don't have to pay tax on that income for another year. Uh, you wanna go ahead and uh, buy all the supplies you need. Uh, you can go ahead and prepay any recurring monthly expenses up to a year. And that way, get that deduction this year instead of next. And of course, you can do that again next year, next December for the following year. And then uh, retirement accounts, if that's an option. And number four is vehicles. Uh, so I hope I give you some good ideas here. If you want to talk about them, if you have questions about any specific ones, reach out to me. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, you know, obviously like and share. That helps me a lot. And uh, drop some comments um, either here or through an email, text message, phone call. And uh, we'll go from there.